The eight accused persons in the murder case of AIGP Andrew Felix Kawes, his driver Kenneth Elau, and bodyguard Godfrey Mwambe have appeared at the International War Crimes Division Court in Kampala for confirmation of the charges against them. The issue that court is resolving today is whether there is sufficient evidence to establish substantial grounds to believe that each of the accused persons committed each of the crimes they are charged with. So the first, the first count is that of terrorism contrary to Section 71A and 2B of the Anti-Terrorism Act. And on that, and on that count, um, court confirms charges for all the seven accused, that is A1 to A7. Uh, you will find the explanations and the details in the ruling, which and the copies of the ruling are going are going to be availed to your lawyers, who will explain the details of everything. Then, on the alternative count, which is murder contrary to Section 118 and 189 of the Penal Code Act, um, court says because it has resolved murder in the first count of terrorism, uh, it finds that there is. That is sufficient enough to cover the alternative charge. In a ruling read on the behalf of Lady Justice Alice Komuhanji Kawuka, court confirmed all the seven counts against the accused. Yes, so you had also two counts of murder. That was count two and count three were about murder, contrary to section 188 and 189 of the Penal Code Act. And court still confirms the charges for all the seven of you. On those counts of murder. So count two and count three are confirmed against A1 to A7. The explanations of how they find you culpable, not culpable, but confirming the charges is in the ruling. You'll find it. Count four is aggravated robbery contrary to section 285 and 286, 2 and 3 of the Penal Code Act. And on that charge two, it is confirmed for all the seven of you, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, and A7. They find that you were. The, the, the charge of aggravated robbery is confirmed against all of you. Um, count five is aiding and abetting terrorism, which is only against Kasuja Shafiq, who is not in court. But the charge has also been confirmed against him. And court goes on to note that it is important to note that A8 jumped bail and efforts of the prosecution to trace him were futile, as he is said to have crossed to the DRC. Prosecution filed criminal application number 17 of 2023, in which they prayed for orders to have A8 tried in his absence, and this court allowed the application and granted the order. A8 is therefore bound by this ruling even in his absence. Judge Komuhanji was also of the view that the ingredients presented by the prosecution prove beyond the required standard to have the accused for a full trial. Sixth and last count is on belonging or professing to belong to a terrorist organization and court confirms charges on the accused number one to number seven, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 and A7. Charges are confirmed against you on this charge, on this count, sorry. I beg your pardon on A8 being with one count. So for him, charges have been confirmed on two counts. That is count five and count six. Count five is um, aiding and abetting terrorism. Count six is professing or belonging to a terrorist organization. Prosecution will depend on the exhibits, among others, call data records. FBI reports, statements from witnesses, accused and police officers, laboratory reports, sketch plan, projectiles, cartridges and mobile phones. So let me summarize the entire ruling and the orders that were given by this court. The judge says, having considered all the evidence disclosed by the prosecution, I make the following orders. The first order is charges in count one and the alternative count thereby they are under and hereby are confirmed against Abdurashid Mbazira Buyondo Mohamed, who is A1, Higen Aramazan Nurdin, aka Tata Abdulazak, A2, 
Mugerwa Yusuf A.K. A. Wilson A3. Bruhan Valye Jusa A.K. A. Masiga Jimmy Ogutu. Chamba De Joshua Magezi A.K. A. Abdu Rahman who is A5. Kaliango Jibril A.K. A. Abdu Aisha who is A6. And Nyanzi Yusuf Siraj. Then charges in count two, three, and four are hereby confirmed against Abdurashid Imbazi Rabuyondo, who is A1, Higen Aramazan Nurdin, aka aka Tata Abdulazak, who is also A2, Chamba de Joshua Magezi, aka Abdurrahman, who is A5, Kaliango Jibril, aka Abdul Aisha, who is A6. And Nyanzi Yusuf Siraj, who is A7. And Valye Jusa Bruhan, a.k.a. Masiga Jimmy Ogutu, Chamba de Joshua Magezi, a.k.a. Abdurrahman, who is A5. Prosecution alleged to have evidence that the eight accused persons used the actual violence and deadly weapons to murder AIGP and Felix Kawes, Kenneth A. Lau, and Godfrey Mambewa. Lawyers representing the accused said they are set to start the hearing of the case. Today we have again appeared before a high court here at International Crimes Division for a ruling or what we call a, a confirmation of uh, charges ruling before Justice Alice Komhanji. The ruling has been delivered and all the counts of terrorism belong to terrorist organization, murder, attempted murder, aggravated robbery, all those counts, all charges have been confirmed against our client or against all our clients. These clients are eight in number, though there is one in number eight who has not been able to appear before court today. All those charges which have been confirmed mean that now the matter or the fall is ready for hearing. As the defense team, we have been ready since they were arraigned in court. Why? Because we still presume and we still believe our clients are innocent. We are waiting for the day which will be communicated to us by court to hear this matter fully. Let the witnesses come. Our clients are in good spirit to proceed with this matter. One would like to have you gone through the indictment. What is that they have based on to commit this and to confirm the charges against of course, what the court has based on is the evidence which they provided to us by the state. The state provided several documentary evidence, including statements. The court has also provided, or we did physical inspection, we saw several evidence. Now, court has based on that. However, that is not enough. We are going to the actual hearing of this matter. And actual hearing involves bringing all the witnesses, as they have disclosed to us, involves bringing all the evidence in court, bringing whatever information they have for cross-examination. And we believe during cross-examination, there is a lot missing pieces which show that our client is still innocent. However, since the accused, Kasuja Shafiq jumped bail to DRC, the court committed him in his absentia. Then charges in count five are hereby confirmed against Kasuja Shafiq, A8. Charges in count six are hereby confirmed against all the accused persons, namely Abdurashid Imbazira Wiyondo Mohamed, A1, Higenya Ramazan Nurdin, a.k.a. Tata Abdulazak, who is A2, Mugera Yusuf, a.k.a. Wilson, who is A3, Bruhan Valye Jusa, a.k.a. Masiga Jimmy Ogutu, who is A4, Chamba de Joshua Magezi, a.k.a. Abdurrahman, who is also A5. Kaliango Jibril, a.k.a. Abdul Aisha, who is A6. Nyanzi Yusuf Siraj, A7. And Kasuja Shafiq, A8. All the accused persons are accordingly forwarded for trial on the confirmed charges. And that is the order of court. <laughs> It is okay. That's why that question will be addressed by the APC register when you come to the studio. AIGP Andrew Felix Kawes, driver and bodyguard, were murdered in cold blood on 17th May 2017 in Kulambiro Tabu Nakawa Division, Kampala District.